Hello everyone and welcome to Gateway Gaming. My name is Aaron and today we're going to be taking a look at how to manage staff schedules in Sim Airport. Managing staff schedules is a really simple way to save money, especially when you're just starting a new airport or if you have a big airport that runs low on cash. Let's get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is open up the Staff tab, and then go to Staff Schedules Overlay. This will bring up this page right here. As you can see, we already have one staff schedule, daytime, that runs from midnight all the way till midnight, so we're paying our staff for 24 hours. In order to change this, we're going to go to the green button right here, and we're going to make a new schedule. This one will be called Closed. To use our new schedule, we're going to click on Closed, and then we're going to click and drag from midnight to 3 a.m. And we're going to do the same from 9 p.m. to midnight. This means that from 9 p.m. all the way to 3 a.m., our staff will go home and we don't have to pay them. We're not done quite yet, though. We need to right-click on any station that a staff member works at to tell it that during the closed time, we do not need them to work there. Now each of these numbers is at zero, which means during the close time, there will be no staff member working here. If we click back to daytime, we can see that they all have one staff member working there. Now that we have staff out of the way, we're going to go ahead and go on to security. As you can see, our closed schedule carries over from when we created it for the staff tab. This makes it easy on us to click on it and do the same thing to the security tab. So from midnight to 3 a.m. and from 9 p.m to midnight, we're going to be closed. For security, depending on how big it is, sometimes I like to add another schedule. We're going to say partially open. We're going to use partially open from the hours of 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. And we're going to go ahead and tell these stations that we don't need this bag scanner, this metal detector, or that ID check stand. So we only have one side of security open. This is because, at least at this airport, in the early morning, there aren't many passengers who are coming through. So we don't really need to spend the money on staffing those stations until later in the day. Everyone's airport is different, so make sure you have enough staff to handle security at any given time of the day. And let's not forget to deselect each station for the close time. Now that we've done that, let's go on to retail workers. Just like with our other staff members, we're going to go ahead and set this schedule from midnight to 3 a.m. and 9 o'clock to midnight. And we're going to make sure that when we're closed, this is deselected. Another thing we can do in the Retail Worker tab is go back to daytime and increase the amount of workers who work at this station by left-clicking on the station. This station can have a maximum of three workers. Make sure if you increase the amount of employees at a station that you actually have the employees to work that station. As you can see, we only have one retail worker, but we have three needed here. So we're just going to go to this tab and add two more. And now we're good to go. Now let's go to the chef tab. Because any food deliveries happen at midnight, we actually want our chef to be there to prepare the food starting at the very beginning of the day. So we're going to keep the chef there from midnight to, let's say, 6 a.m. He may not need to be there for that entire time, but until we find out, let's go ahead and keep him there from midnight to 6 a.m. And any other time, he doesn't need to be there. Just like with the retail workers, you can increase the amount of chefs that work in your kitchen by left-clicking on the mouse or keypad. As you can see, we can have up to 999 chefs in our kitchen, which is a bit overkill for our airport, so we're just going to go with a modest one. Lastly, let's look at our janitor tab. You can find out what works best for your airport, but we're going to say that we don't need janitors from midnight to 6 a.m. Make sure you remember to right-click on the garbage zone in order to decrease the amount of workers that are working during the close time. Just a small side note, you can't put your workers on a staff schedule, so make sure you don't bring on too many because you will be paying for them every hour whether you like it or not. And just like that, you've created staff schedules for all of your employees. As you can see, I messed up a little bit because apparently passengers start showing up at 2.30, not 3 a.m., so they're going to have to wait half an hour. Thank you for sticking around. If you would like to see more Sim Airport tutorials, or possibly even a Let's Play series, go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, please let me know in the comment section. I want to create content that is relevant to you. 
that being said, thanks again for watching, and I do hope to see you in the next one. Bye now!